Coverage continues now with Way 31 Sydney Martin. She stopped by a Huntsville car wash to learn how they keep their team from overheating. People who work at Lee's Car Wash are outside in the heat all day long. With heat indexes in the triple digits, they purchase a thermometer gun that can tell them how hot cars are. This car registering at 121 degrees. People here telling me they're just doing anything they can to stay cool. I picked up as high as 165 on the hood of a car, put it on the pavement. Uh, it was like 115. Ronnie Brown told us the heat wave has him watching his employees closely and making sure he has more than enough people on staff. Probably have enough people here to do 300 cars on a day like today, but we're probably only going to do about 150, so there's plenty of time to get breaks. Brian Thomas works in the detail area. He told us being able to dress for the weather and preparing for the heat makes it bearable. Whether that's being allowed to wear a cutoff shirt, wearing some shorts, something that will keep you comfortable and cool, as well as being provided with whatever hydration we might need. We stay fit, we stay in shape. The car wash is equipped with many fans, and employees even cool themselves off with the water. They told us they do whatever it takes. I think the hardest thing to do is to stay focused, uh, because that can, the heat can be a distraction to many people. Brown told us he knows they're not the only ones working hard in this heat. And he knows it's worse for others. It's not easy, but that said, there's a lot tougher jobs, you know, construction, uh, roofing, you know, a uh, plumber, you know, digging a ditch. I mean, there's a lot of tough jobs out here that would probably be as tough. In Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News. Brown tells us he doesn't just take heat precautions during a heat advisory. Anytime the temperature is above 90 degrees, he brings out fans and provides drinks for his employees.